Did you know in 2014 there were more than 1,200,000 home fires? That's more than 3,000 fires a day in the US. I bet many of those fires could have been prevented if the home had the right type of smoke detection. There are two types of smoke alarms and smoke detectors, ionization and photoelectric. Ionization detectors are built to detect generally fast flaming fires. Photoelectric sensors are usually more responsive to smoldering fires. Unfortunately, most homeowners are not aware of this. And since ionization detectors are cheaper to make, 93% of all US homes have ionization detectors. And most likely because of this, according to NFPA, only 53% of smoke alarms sounded and reported home fires from 2009 to 2013. This problem is so serious that even Massachusetts, Iowa, and Vermont have banned ionization smoke alarms from being installed in homes. Now the question is, what type of sensor should I install in my home? NFPA states that it is best to have both type of sensors in your home. This can easily be done by installing a dual sensor alarm. This type of smoke alarm has both ionization and photoelectric sensors in it. So no matter the fire emergency, it's going to sound. You can get these alarms usually online for about $20 to $35, depending if they're hardwire capable or not. Don't forget that you should replace your home smoke alarms about every 10 years and to test them at least monthly. Okay, I'm in the SCR right now and right up there is the dual ionization and photoelectric smoke alarm in the SCR and today I'm going to be testing it to show you how fast it goes off. So here we go. 